COVID-19 is hitting home now for Congresswoman Johanna Hayes. The U.S. representative from our 5th district here in Connecticut says her husband, who was a first responder in Waterbury, tested positive for the virus. Congresswoman Johanna Hayes is joining us live right now tonight, and uh, we appreciate it. First of all, Congresswoman, thank you very much for taking a few minutes, but I, you're kind of stuck at home right now, right? Yes, I am. Thank you for having me. Let me ask you, how's your husband doing and how are you doing? Um, my husband as well. Thank you for asking. He, I mean, as you can imagine, last night was a restless night and he's starting to begin to see symptoms emerge. Um, I also was tested, tested negative, which is interesting because I was the one with the fever and I was the one with the cold symptoms. And um, so emotionally, it's just been a, a roller coaster. But right now, quite, quite honestly, I'm just nervous. Yeah, I think a lot of people when they come in contact with it or hear that they've come in contact with someone, and of course I'm imagining you're very worried about your husband. Do you know how he contracted the virus exactly? Well, we're not 100% sure, but he, my husband works for the Waterbury Police Department and someone in his office, the spouse of one of his coworkers uh, tested positive and then the coworker. So the police department immediately said, anyone who has come into contact so he went and got tested along with some other people at the office. And it was a couple days before the results came back. So over that time, we're thinking, well, where have you been? Or trying to self-diagnose, if you will. There were a few nights where he got up in the middle of the night. His chest was tight. So we were trying to count back the number of days. So his test came back positive. So I immediately called the, the doctor and he called his the chief of police because I was anticipating having to travel back to Washington. And I said, I really need to get tested because I've had a fever, I've had the cold symptoms, I really need to know before I get on the road to travel. So I also was tested and my test came back negative. Well, that's good news for you, of course, but I know it's gotta be very nerve wracking for your husband. Um, I, you know, what are your thoughts for other people right now who are dealing with this? Um, obviously it's hit very close to home for you, as close as it gets really. Um, but so many people are dealing with this on top of, you know, the, the job loss and other financial problems people are facing. Well, I think the thing that's most striking for me is this idea that we can take people's temperature and know who's, who um, is, a carrier or who's at risk right now. And that in some way is a metric for re returning to some sense of normalcy. My husband did not have a fever. He did not have the symptoms that were marked on the paper. Over the last 48 hours, we're starting to see some of those things emerge, but he's been going to work every day. He's been getting called out at night, going to the office, you know, showing up for his duties as a police officer. So he would, there was no reason for him to be tested. So we do not know enough about this virus to proceed without any type of precautionary measures. It, it, there's just too much uncertainty, too much that we don't know. And then the other side of it is there's a huge emotional um, uh, turmoil to this that people go through. So it's not just he's in another room quarantined and I'm working uh, in, in my family room I'm also thinking I want my husband to be okay. I reached out to some friends, uh, families who have gone through this. And what I've heard, which I think is the most shocking response is how quickly people have gone from good to gone or, you know, how they were 12 days in and thought they were on the downslope and then just had a really bad day or a really bad night. So I'm journaling, writing everything down, looking for changes, but it definitely is scary. Well, Congresswoman, no, Congresswoman, I can only imagine, but I certainly appreciate you taking a few minutes to join us right now. Uh, and from all of us here at Channel 3, we wish the best for your husband and for you as well. Please stay well. Thank you. Please stay well and, and practice, follow the guidelines that are being set forth by the CDC. And I just encourage everyone to think about our first responders who are out there on the front line so that we are able to stay home until this health crisis passes. That is for sure. Congresswoman, thank you very much. We will be right back.